Hello everybody, this is Little Miss Brooks, and we are on Rogue River Valley, and i um never been on this map, I've never toured this map, I've never read this map, and I am quite excited because I get to go on a ride in a tractor with you guys. <laughs> So anyways guys, um, I just have one request. Why don't you go get your coffee and um, I will be waiting here for you so you can pause the button. And if it takes five minutes, I will still be here so you can pause the button. Welcome back. So the year is 2013. So you went back in time. A time where it changed my life forever. So join me today on a little chat and going back in time. So let's just go walk down here for a bit. Ooh, a nice campsite. Beautiful. Yeah, we don't want to fall off this cliff. So let's go buy a tractor. So today we're going to ride in. A FarmCon 2022 John Deere 710 tractor. And this is the tractor that we're going to be riding in today and chatting. She's a beauty, isn't she? <laughs> Can even change the tires. I think I want the tires normal. Beautiful, isn't she? And it goes 25 kilometers an hour. So let's buy it. So, so we're going to have to tap through all the vehicles, of course, because I don't know anything on this map. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Look at that beauty. What an amazing ride. Okay guys, let's go on a ride. In a truck. We need to get on the road. And I don't even know where I'm going. And I don't even know the scene of road. So. Ugh, slow. So. <gasps> Look at those beautiful mountains. Beautiful. Beautiful rolling hills. Let's go bring up the map here. And let's go take a look. So, let's see where we're at. I believe that's where we're at. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Get a better look at that map. Wow, man. Is that a lot of trees or what? Man, that's a lot. So we're just going to look at crop types right now. And then we will go on a, a ride back in time to 2013. So on this map, you can grow wheat, barley, granola, oat, corn, sunflower, soybean, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, cotton, sorghum, Grapes, olives, and popular, and um, grass, oilseed, radish, alfalfa, and black bean. Well, so there's a few different crops that you can grow in here. That's really amazing. There isn't much farmland. So let's get back on the road. So I don't know what which way. So let's go around to the left here. Gotta make sure no cars are coming. We gotta look both ways this way. Ooh, is that a bump there? Maybe. So, how's it going, everyone? So, as I said, the year, <laughs> if I can control my tractor, the year was 2013. It was very, very cold then, and it was November, and I can remember when I, when I get up in the morning and I had to get my coffee 
Oh guys, the tractor's really loud. Let's see, let's stop right here and see if I can turn the sound down a little bit. Uh, don't run into that low. Let's bring this up and we're gonna turn down the sound. Um, volume, vehicle volume. Let's bring it down to 20. So, just a disclaimer, if you hear any noise in the background, it's my kids. Um, my kids love playing games, and they get very excited and very upset when the game doesn't go their way. So, if you hear noise, that's why. <laughs> let's go back. Okay. And let's see if it's quieter now. That's better, that, that you can hear my voice. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to look both ways, didn't I? Ugh. Gotta watch out for the people. Anyways, let's get on straight here. The year was 2013, and as I was staying, I was getting my coffee, and it was early in the morning, and I was freezing cold, and uh, it was one of those near wintertime days when you just wanted to stay in bed and do nothing. Back, back, back in the day, I had um, really no idea what a gaming laptop was. Um, I only knew that laptops could be used to play games, but I didn't know that there was like gaming computers and games really back then. I wasn't, ooh, welcome to Valley Wood, Pro Wood Products. Ooh, let's go have a look. So, I didn't know anything about gaming laptops. I had this crappy laptop that I could only play um, <laughs> Solitaire on. And I played Solitaire a lot. And Solitaire was kind of boring. Let's stop and have a look. That is amazing. Uh, it was just not a very exciting game. <laughs> and I pretty much always one. Wow, nice barn. Maybe that's actually where you can put your green silo, and I'm right. See what's over here. We might want to stop and just a little scenic route. Let's get off for a minute. Let's see what this is. Bet it's sheep. It's pigs, and you can get, hmm, a few pigs. Okay, let's get back on the tractor. But just take a look around. Wow. So anyways, I decided that day, I grabbed my blankets, and instead of watching Hulu, Hulu was back in that time, was a simple, simple website, and you could watch videos, or you can watch movies and videos without having to pay a prescription like you do now. So it was basically like Netflix, but all you had to do is watch ads, kind of like YouTube. It's free to it's free to be on YouTube. It's free to watch YouTube videos, but you have to watch an ad and I like that but I got really really sick of of just going there so I decided I was going to YouTube and I decided I was going to type in farm channels well the first channel that came up was a channel that I will never forget and that ch channel was one channel that changed my life forever. Let's take a look, guys. Oh, man. I'm just not good at this, am I? So, what's over here? That channel changed my life forever. I didn't know that there was Farm Sim. And I didn't know that there was a game you could play. <laughs> that was real. That, well, felt real. Wow, this is nice. I wonder if you could put your hay in here or your grain. Or silage, maybe. Silage bunker. But anyways, guys. Um, let's get back on track. <laughs> I got off the track, didn't I? 
And so, I joined this channel. I prescribed. I was a follower. And I was in love. Farming, Farming Simulator 2013 changed my life forever. You guys have no idea. But, oh my gosh. I'm just not doing good. Get on the tractor. Ugh. Need to. There we go. I look good in this tractor, don't I? So, I watched this. Cha I started watching the channel, and the first thing I watched on the channel was the Idaho map. And the person's channel's name was Ian Robinson. He was one of the first YouTubers that I ever watched that played Farmson 13. Well, I loved his channel. It looks like you can, what is this? Is this another animal shed? No, it looks like you can dump your grain. So this would be like maybe a grain silage. I don't know, maybe. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to find out about that later. So, the first map I watched on this channel was the Idaho map. The Idaho map was very big. It was huge. It was one of the bigger... It was a big map. Um, so, let's get out and see what's over here. So, it was a very big map. I don't know if we want to go through the door or not, but... Oh, man, that's not what I wanted to do. Ugh. Miss. Always messing up. Let's see if we can go in here. Well, the door is locked. Man. They must not want intruders. Let's get back on the tractor, I guess. Just thought I'd have a look. You know, the typical... Typical people who lock their barns. So... It was a big map, and um, Ian Robinson would drive one part of the map to the other, and it was huge and flat. It was very flat map, but I love that map. I watched the whole series, and I wanted to play that map. And I played that map, and I'll explain how. This must be our... Is this our chicken shed? Maybe? Hmm. Let's go up there and see. Hmm. Well, not working today. I'm sorry, guys. Not my day, is it? So, you're, you're going to ask me, how did I play that game? Well, since I didn't have a gaming computer, well, I saved every single penny I ever had, or saved up, that I had saved up in my savings account at the time. <laughs> And saved up for a nice computer. And back in the day, that computer would have been called just a computer. <laughs> a desktop. But at the time, that desktop could play FarmSim 13. So now I had to figure out how I was going to get FarmSim 13. It did take me a while. Because, you know, money back then was worth more. And it took longer to save more than it does now. And things now cost more. Let's go this way. Let's go to the right. Oop, I didn't look that way. There was any cars coming. Costs more. So, I found this site called eBay. I got on eBay, and I bought it. And I waited days. Yeah. It was quite... Quite the many long days. So then... When it came in the mail, I was jumping for joy. A bowling alley. Hmm. That's very different. I don't know if I've ever seen a bowling alley. But, anyways, let's get on with our journey. And, so, like I said, I got it in the mail, and I was so excited. It was, back then, it was a CD-ROM. And so, BGA, let's go look at the BGA. Very nice, very nice, very simple, very s 
Very simple. Nice. Hmm. I don't know that I would have put a VGA by the church, but... Hmm. It's nice. It does what it's supposed to do. So let's stop here. So, back to it. The chat. So, I put the disc in and found out nice, beautiful church. It's gorgeous. So, I put it in and I thought that it would just come up in the window, but no, it took a long time to load. So, after that, I had to wait three plus hours for it to load on the computer. And when I when I finally got into Farm Sim 2013, it was like my world changed, guys. Taking the view, it was like my world would never have been the same, and it wasn't the same. So then, the next thing is, I find found out where to download Iowa Map, Idaho Map. Oh my goodness, the Idaho, the Iowa, Idaho Map. So I decided. So after I figured out how to download it and make a mods folder, I downloaded it onto my computer and I played that game. I played that game, that map, until I farmed every single crop, grew every single thing, and did every single thing on that map you could ever do. Back then, the graphics were very simple. There wasn't very many mods as there is now. You didn't have production. You had the old simple animals. Cows and sheep, I do believe, and chickens. Now, you know what? Looking back at that time, I do have to say it was very much of a simple time. Let's see. I don't know if this is the end of the map and is this the end of the road. I don't know. So, it was very simple back then. But I really did love the simplicity of it. It's a beautiful map is this. Beautiful. I loved it because the simple map had such charm. It reminded me of really being a farmer and being there. And that's what really Oh, are we back at the beginning? Did we just go around? Wow guys, maybe we did. We went around the map. Oh. Well, now, let's go this way, I guess, and see if we missed anything. So, like I was saying, there's where the wood chips. Is that the wood chips? See. It's the wood. Very nice. Wow, look at that. Oh, I just want to... Soak that in. Look at that view. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Anyways, as I was saying, I loved it. That was the start of my journey with Farmson. The journey that I have not stopped and the journey that I will not stop. The journey that will always have me wanting more farm sim. <laughs> and I want more farm sim. And I have to thank a person for making a YouTube channel and showing showing off farm sim. No, I have to say that I've 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 tried a few things on farm sim. <laughs> and one thing I've I have tried was course play. I, I seen Ian Rob, Robinson doing course play, and I really wanted to do course play. I was very excited because it looked amazing, and you could have um, AI or workers help you do the work, and it was, it looked fun. <sighs> don't ever start it, if, don't ever think that you know it, 
you know how to do it unless you watch a tutorial. I messed course play up so bad. Uh, did I just get off my tractor? Excuse me, guys. I did. Let's go. Because I thought... Oh, come on. I thought that I could do it without watching the tutorial. I knew that Farmer Ian had a tutorial, and I thought, well, I'm just going to try it, because I thought that I just could do it. <laughs> so, there I was, putting the mod in the mod folder, starting it up, and... I messed up, guys. I messed up big time. I didn't do it right. <laughs> and that was my failure. Because I had not watched the tutorial. And apparently, I thought I could do it by myself. And, well, it didn't happen. Um... It was such a mess. I had messed up the whole map with my workers. I actually didn't even know what workers were coming and going. So did we look at that field over there? I don't think we have. So let's go over here. We better get off the road. Because you know. So all my, all my workers were all over the place. I don't think that there was one time a worker was at the field they were supposed to be. And I don't even think that they even plowed the field. And it was just such a mess. Now, you know what? I never tried course play again. Oh, here we are, guys. I never, I, I, I never did it again. I messed up once and I was determined. Beautiful, beautiful field. I do believe this is for cows. It sure is. And look at all the cows. The typical cows. Nothing new. And, um, I just, when I played farm sim, I played by myself. Um, and then years down the road, I started playing with a few other people. Farmer, I played with Farmer Bernice for many, many years. And we had many adventures together <laughs> on farm sim. Some of them were memorable. I believe this is a dairy farm because it looks like a dairy barn. And many of them were mem memorable. And many of them I will never forget. I could never forget running into buildings, getting stuck on fences. <laughs> typical, typical my style. But see, we're going around a circle again, guys. I have no idea where the other road went. But anyways, guys, those memories have brought me to here. Brought me back to 2022 and brought me to you guys. Brought me to this channel and brought me a whole new adventure with Farm Sim. Let's get out, guys. It's just, oh, oh yep. Brought me an adventure of never getting off the tractor. Wow, this must be where you can get your water. Hmm. Nice. Nice. So, brought me here, brought me to my channel, and brought me on a new adventure. And I want you guys to be... Be... Follow me. Be there with me on this adventure. You know, it's... Th this adventure could not be anything with y without you guys. You guys have changed it all. And without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you so very much for all the new subscribers. And I wanted... <laughs> I didn't get in the water today. I wanted to take you on a little adventure back to 2013. And I hope you enjoyed. And please... Subscribe and like, um, and um, and if you have a channel, please do comment and put your channel in because I love so much to find new people that play and to watch your channel and 
support you along your journey because we are a community and we should support each other. Oh man. If only for real, I lived here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a good day. Wow.